Is your husband angry with you all the time? No matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, no matter how far out of your way you go to make him happy, your husband still seems to find something to complain about or shoot down. If this sounds familiar, you're not alone. So many women live in relationships where they are expected to cater to the men in their lives, and it's not your fault. You've been raised by a society that, no matter how much it halves about feminism and independence, still asks you why you're applying for a loan on your own or what your husband does within minutes of meeting you. You've been conditioned to cater to the men in your life and it's causing more rifts in your relationships than you realize. The good news is that up until now, it has not been your fault. But the bad news is that now you know it and have to decide what to do with that information. If your husband is always upset with you, no matter what you do, keep watching. Here are five honest tips to consider if your husband is always annoyed with you. Number one, it's not your fault. Before we talk about why your husband is angry all the time, one of the first things you'll want to do is take some time to think about how big of a problem is this really. For many people, frustration and anger are part of the package. And together, you learn to navigate those feelings and overcome them. But if your husband hasn't done anything to make an effort to deal with his own feelings, you need to understand that there isn't anything you can do to make that better for him. Being a better, kinder, and more understanding wife won't fix his issues. And believe me, these are issues that need fixing. There are a million reasons why your husband is angry all the time, but one thing is for sure, it's not your fault. Even if he yells and screams at you and tells you that you're the reason he is so miserable, it is 100% not true. The reason we know this is true is that human beings have the capacity to control their thoughts and feelings and we control how we react to other people. So even if you were the worst wife on the planet and did everything in your power to try to annoy him, he gets to choose how to react to those situations. Ultimately, he is like this because he is choosing to be like this. Not an easy pill to swallow, for sure. But rest easy knowing that when someone treats you badly, it is because of their choices, not yours. Number two, look back. One of the first things you should do is take some time to reflect on his past behavior. First of all, has he always been like this, but you were just too in love to notice? Has he always had a short temper or been annoyed easily at things? Have you, until now, chosen to overlook this about him and now you're starting to hate him? If this is all new to you, then it's important to talk to him about what really might be going on with him. Work might be falling apart, he might be having a major issue with a friend or family member, and he's embarrassed or he might be worried about money. It could be anything, so before you point your fingers, be sure to talk to him about how he's feeling and what's going on with his life. You might be surprised by what you find. If, however, he's been like this since day one and you somehow missed it, you want to have a hard conversation with yourself about whether it's you or him that is the problem. By the sounds of it, it's not you. Number three, look at his habits. In the last few months, have you noticed a change in any of the following? His nutrition, activity levels, television habits, sleep habits? Have you noticed that he's not into the things he used to be into? We forget sometimes that men also have hard lives and deal with a lot of things that go unnoticed or undiscussed. It could be that these recent mood swings are caused by any number of things including weight gain or loss, hormone imbalance, lack of sex drive, fear of the future, you name it. Guys worry about it too. He might be taking his fear or frustration out on you because you're close to him and he trusts you. We're often the cruelest to the people we love the most because they are safe to us. Talk to him about how he's been feeling and what's changed for him in the last few months. You might be surprised to find that he's not annoyed with you at all. It's himself he's annoyed with. Number four, communicate with him in this specific way. If your husband is getting annoyed at you and vice versa, then there could be a communication breakdown in your marriage. Don't worry, this is surprisingly common. Why? Male and female brains are different. For instance, the limbic system is the emotional processing center of the brain and it's much larger in the female brain than in the man's. That's why women are more in touch with their emotions and why guys can struggle to process their feelings and communicate with their partner in a healthy way. I learned this from relationship guru Michael Fira. He's one of the world's leading experts on male psychology and what men want from relationships. Watch an excellent free video that I've linked to in the description below to learn more about Michael's life-changing solution for dealing with men who won't open up to you. 
Michael reveals what you need to do to make your husband commit completely to your marriage. His techniques work surprisingly well on even the coldest and most commitment phobic men. If you want science based techniques to make a man fall in love with you and stay in love with you, check out his free video below. Number 5. Work on your marriage. So the question is, how can you improve your marriage? First, let's make one thing clear. Just because your husband is getting annoyed all the time, doesn't mean the marriage is in trouble. However, if you're feeling that things are on track with your marriage, I encourage you to act to turn things around now before matters get any worse. The best place to start is by watching the free video by marriage guru Brad Browning that I've linked to in the description of this video. He explains where you've been going wrong and what you need to do to make your husband fall back in love with you. Many things can slowly infect a marriage, distance, lack of communication, and sexual issues. If not dealt with correctly, these problems can morph into infidelity and disconnectedness. When someone asks me for an expert to help saving failing marriage, I always recommend Brad Browning. Brad is the real deal when it comes to saving marriages. He is the best-selling author and dispenses valuable advice on his extremely popular YouTube channel. The strategies Brad reveals in his video are extremely powerful and might be the difference between a happy marriage and an unhappy divorce. Check out the free video in the description below.